We love Menudo. We grew up with them too. I can't believe I remembered every word and every step. It looks like your band-aids aren't behind you. Well, congratulations on the third film. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks so much. Uh, when it started out, did you think it would go this long? No. <laughs> you hope. <laughs> I mean, you know, when we were working on Trolls 1 about 10 years ago. You hope. You hope that it connects with an audience and that you get to keep making more and explore these characters and watch them grow. So we feel very grateful. Uh, the funniest thing I found was the wordplay on the boy bands. I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. And you even threw in Menudo. So thank you. <laughs> we, we, yes, we got Menudo. We really wanted, our producer Gina Shea really wanted to get Menudo in there. And that was a tricky one towards the end. Well, the audience will see how we do it, but we love Menudo. We grew up with them too. So I want to ask, I saw when the credits were rolling, Justin Timberlake is a music supervisor. So yeah. how does he work on that? Does he pick songs or does he compose? How, how, how does how's that role for him? Yeah, all of it. Yeah, he's one of our executive music uh producer so he's he's really involved he gets we start pitching the movie very soon once we start constructing it and we have ideas we pitch the movie to him and he starts helping us pick like where the songs go we kind of have a pitch he has ideas oh this would be great for an original song which he'll help write and pull together with his team he also suggests things like oh wouldn't it be great there's that giant boy band medley <laughs> when they go to vacation island it's an incredible mm -hmm. highlight of the movie but there's different boy band songs in there weave together he had a lot of say in which ones those were and which parts we use so he is very invested in the movie and really invested in the music well and if very, anyone who knows who's in the industry knows that um licensing music is no easy feat it's yeah. it's very expensive right so how do you guys do it and challenging. Well, we do. We know it's such a big part of the identity of the troll movies. Such a big part of you. So we go, okay. Here's this chunk of budget for that. You know, and I think we just have to. We work really closely with with our producer Gina Shea. She really helps us find the right songs and make sure they're all work within a budget. You know, mm -hmm. but we never had to compromise. All the songs we wanted to use in the film that felt right, we got to use. Very luckily. Oh. Yeah. Uh, so what were some, I mean, we, we were introduced to some new characters. Um, so what was the most challenging about creating these new characters or either writing, animation or whatever? Yeah, level? all of it. I think you, you, it's a good question because I think what was really hard is finding the specificity of each color, co each mm -hmm. character, because Branch has four brothers. So how do we have each one kind of have his own identity, but still have this family resemblance. So both in the design as well as to performance, you know, how do they each have their own distinct attitude and their own specific way of talking and way of moving. So from the top down, like all of it, from when we cast to make sure those voices are different, to we work with the animators and work with the designers to make sure they're, the way they move as individual to each character. So it's, it's quite a challenge, but it's a satisfying one when we get there. Well, you did a really good job on that one. Cause Thank like you, you said, every character was unique. Uh, and so we knew exactly uh, what was going on. Cause sometimes when you introduce new characters, you get confused, there's too many of them, you know? A lot of trilogies suffer from, from that. When you introduce new characters and too many yeah. of them, it gets yeah. bogged down and you get lost. And, but I think you really did a good job about giving each one an individual uh, personality. Oh, great. That, that means a lot. That was like a lot of effort put into that idea. Especially with the hair, the hairdos. I think one of them was reminding me of Flock of Seagull. <laughs> yeah, that one with this part yeah. here, that was Lloyd's hair. The Spruce, who lives on Vacation Island, if you notice, his hair is like a giant wave. It's yeah. It's like a giant wave because like he's a island. surfer. Yeah. yeah. Well, a lot of 80s tunes in there, so of course that speaks to me. So I just thought of Flock of That's Seagulls. That's me too. That's yeah. me too, man. I, I am all about the 80s. I listened to tons of 80s growing up and tons of 80s over the making of this movie. Oh, well, uh, I'm glad you use it. I, I, I still listen to 80s. I don't think I listen to many new things. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you got both in this film. There's both. Yeah. Well, congratulations. Uh, one of my friends, fellow press person, she was saying this was her favorite one of the trilogy. Love it. I'd love to hear that. Yeah. So hopefully, you know, a lot of people will feel the same way. 
I hope so too. Thank you. It's nice talking right. to you. Nice talking to you too. Congratulations on the third film. And uh, I'm sure we're going to get many, many more because they're so okay, much fun. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> right.